Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we're always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquas. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your general love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquas. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. And welcome, Aquas, to the ones that are new here. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Definitely, if today content fulfills you all spirit, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of our family. And if you would love to book a personal reading with me, my email details are down below in the description box, all right? So no further ado, Aquas, we're going to go ahead and dive into your general love reading, all right? We're going to see what's going on in your love life, what's coming towards you for love in the month of November, all right? Let's see what's coming in for you for the month of November, Aquas. What's coming in for my Aquas in the month of November? Let's see what do we have here for you, loves. We have children. Your love life is being affected by children, okay? So some of you all, shout out to the parents, okay? Shout out to the mothers and the fathers, all right? You have a situation here for some of you all that your children needs to be very much paid attention to. Make sure that you're checking in on your children. Make sure that you are asking your children how are they feeling. I know we get so busy with our daily routines, aquas, that sometimes we don't stop and check in with our children just to see where they're at spiritually, check in with them emotionally, and especially checking in with them mentally to see where they're at in life, okay? Matter what age they are, okay? And some of you all, you may not have children, but you may are looking forward to wanting to have a family with children, all right? So this could be very significant for you, taking how it resonates there for you, Aquas, all right? Let's see what else is going on in your love life. We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? So some of you all, it's all about finding balance, I feel like, here, Aqua, for the next two months that we have left of this cycle of this year, okay? Putting your finances together or in check here, making sure that your foundation is strong, okay? So this doesn't affect your love life, okay? I feel like some of y'all are trying to make sure to get your ducks in the row here. I see as well if you are wanting to establish a new relationship with someone or just getting things back balanced when it comes to your family and your children and your finances here. A typical relationship situation or circumstance for me that looks like it just needs some attention in these areas, okay? Needing to focus more on balancing your career and balancing your love life with your family, making time for your career and your finances, getting them back on a schedule consistently here and also finding time to spend time with your children or giving your children the time that they need at this time, okay? So it just looks like when it comes to your love life, it's needed to find balance, Aquas, so that way everything can flow in the order that it needs to, okay? Yeah, look at that. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real, Aquas. Of course they are and worth exploring, okay? So yeah, some of y'all could even be meeting someone new. So again, don't forget about your bills over here that gotta be paid and don't forget about the children. Okay, don't forget about the kiddos because some of y'all might be a little octopi here and you're going to have to find balance with this new person or maybe you're dating someone new or just recapturing your love from someone from your past. Okay, and it's going to require balance, balance, balance. Okay, wow, I'm loving this. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck here, we have make the effort aquas, give love I'm sorry, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So don't be afraid on making the effort, okay? That definitely, again, is giving me the energy of some of you all dating or meeting someone new, taking that leap of faith, getting your feet wet, okay? Because some of y'all, it's been a while since you've dated, right? Could have been a while since you've been out on 
confirmation from my device right there, okay? Some of y'all, it could have been a while since you've gotten back out on the dating scene or just connecting with someone, okay? And so you may not be used to that. So you have to implement this new person in your love life with everything else you got going on with your children and your finances here. So trying to find balance for your dating life, trying to find balance for your career, and trying to find balance for your children, okay? For the ones that have family, rather if you have kids or not, finding balance with your loved ones, okay? Wow, so let's get some tarot out here. Let's see what's going on in tarot land. I want to clarify this romantic feelings here. Let's get more insight here. What's going on for my aquas? Show me more about the connection here for Aquarius. What else is going on? What's going on in Tarot Land? We got the Seven of Wands, okay? So I do see you protecting whatever this is that you're back here in the background here working on, I see you protecting your space and energy from individuals that maybe are causing conflicted situations or circumstances with you. There is a lot of comp competition, excuse me. There could be a lot of defense, maintaining control over your family, main, maintaining control over your finances. Again, maintaining control over your love life, protecting your family and your loved ones here, okay? Some of y'all, you could be connecting with the fire sign here. We have a Leo energy here. Also, this person could be an Aries, or they could be a Sagittarius Aquas, okay? Let's see what else is going on in Tarot Land for my Aquas. What else here? We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy here, okay? Some of y'all, this person that you're connecting with may be a Sagittarius, or the person that you're making the effort to connect to Okay, we got heavy fire energy out here, but we know the temperance card in traditional tarot indicates balance. As I mentioned, wow, I just mentioned that earlier. I'm, I'm realizing what I'm saying myself, okay? So I'm wowing with you, Aquas, but I remember earlier saying balance, balance, balance. So this is practically what you're doing, finding that peace and balance and moderation and being patient about it. You know, don't be so hard on yourself, Aqua. You can only do so much at a time. So just take your time, okay? Don't stress yourself out and allow everything to come to you, okay? Wow, let's get one more card to your Aquas. I'm loving your reading here today. Definitely if the reading is resonating for you so far, again, Aquas, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here again, subscribe, okay? We would love to have you part of the family and be sure to set your notification bells for my upcoming readings that I do post on this channel for you, Aquas, and also my all sign readings, my collective readings, and my divine feminine, divine masculine readings. We've been having a good time tapping into the collective energy as well. All right, we got the King of Pentacles. I'm loving it. Some of you all, you're definitely in that energy of taking her business, okay? Step into that masculine energy here. We have the King of Pentacles. This card talks about wealth, business, leadership, okay? Discipline, prosperity, generosity. So it's a lot, I feel like, that you're structuring when it comes to your love life and your career and your finances and your family. You're doing a lot of resetting your foundation and restructuring everything so that it can fit in a schedule or routine for you, okay? And someone definitely wants to be in that routine, okay? All right, and some of y'all, this could be a Virgo here with the King of Pentacles, or again, we got Leo energy coming out twice, and we also have Sagittarius. Others of you all with the Earth energy, this could be a Taurus, Capricorn or a Virgo here, okay? Wow, Aqua. So let's see how does this person feel about you, the energies that are surrounding you at this time. Let's see how do they feel about you. What are some things that they may want to say to you right now and why? We got, damn, I want you, okay? <laughs> Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, there is definitely someone that wants to fit in your routine here, Aquas, and they are very attractive to you, okay? Oh my goodness, that yellow reminds me of a new beginning. Some of y'all, this is going to be a new start for you, 
Okay, wow. We also got, I won't do this again. So some of you all, there could be some conflicts if you are maybe in separation or not in contact with the person that you were with here. Someone wants to reconcile with you. This could be the person that you maybe had children with. Okay, this could be the father or the mother of your child here. Okay, that is realizing a situation that they don't want to put you in or do again. Okay, wow. I can't make this up. Look at that. I went back to my past lover. Okay, so some of you all, this person that you maybe were with, you maybe found out that they went back to an ex of theirs or they started, you know, exchanging energies with someone from their past. They maybe wasn't honest to you about it with that card coming out here. Okay, wow. Let's see what else here. We have, it's time to check in. Yeah, it's definitely time to check in, Aquarius. I feel like with yourself because some of you all are having to redirect your energy, redirect your family, your loved ones, and your romantic love life here. A lot, I feel like, is being adjusted and arranged for you, Aquas, okay? Which could be a good thing, right? Wow, all I want is you, okay? Someone is definitely determined to want to establish a relationship or a commitment here with you, okay? It definitely is giving me the vibes of two different energies as well. Some of y'all are still transitioning or um, you know, processing maybe a breakup or separation, and that could be what's affecting you with your children here, having to get everything adjusted as far as household wise. Some of you all, again, there is someone new that's in the picture that you're bringing in because it's kind of like an out with the old and in with the new type of situation here as well. So, again, take it where it resonates for you, what doesn't, keep it here on the table so it can give you space and opportunity for whomever needs the message here, Aqua. Was okay. Wow. Again, definitely if this reading has given you some type of clarity, confirmation. Again, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you are would love to book a personal reading, again, my email details are down below in the description box, Aquas. I would love to see what's next here for you in love. All right. And if you would love more exclusive content, definitely come and check me out on Patreon as well, Aquas. I love you. And I definitely wish you and this opportunity here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.